What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. This is me Sameer. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can fix battery drain on iOS 18. We have all been there. We have updated our iPhone to iOS 18 or to the latest version and it starts to get finicky draining all your battery. So in this video, I'll be sharing some tips, tricks and hacks which you can use to improve your iPhone's battery life so it lasts throughout the day. So one of the biggest culprit of battery drain on your iPhone could be location services. Some app want to track your whereabouts even when you are not using that particular app. So to turn off location services for all the apps, you need to go to settings, scroll down, privacy and security, location services and over here you will have the list of apps which are required to use location services. To turn location services off for a specific app, you can just select on it. And over here, you can select never or ask next time or when I share. Or you can simply go back and just toggle off location services. This will completely shut down location services for each and every app present on your iPhone. And next is background app refresh. Well, this allows app to refresh their content in the background even if you are not using it, causing battery drain on your iPhone with the latest iOS 18 because some of the apps might not be optimized for iOS 18 and thus battery drain might occur on your iPhone. To turn off background app refresh, again, you need to go into the settings app. Now, you need to go into the general. From here, scroll down and you will have the option of background app refresh. Tap on it and over here as you can see, you can individually turn the toggle off for an app which you don't want to refresh in the background or you can just go simply into the background app refresh. Over here, you can select off or over Wi-Fi. I'll suggest if the battery drain is lot, keep it off and this will save a hell amount of battery on your iPhone. If your iPhone has an OLED display, I would recommend that you use dark mode if you're facing battery drain because dark mode will reduce the emission of white light from your display, saving a lot of power. So to turn on dark mode, you need to go into the settings app. From here, scroll down and go into the display and brightness section and simply over here, you will see light and dark mode. You can either turn on dark mode automatically according to the daytime or I would suggest that you choose it manually and save a lot of power on your iPhone. And there is one more way you can toggle dark mode and that is from control center. Just open that, tap and hold on the brightness slider and over here you will have the option of dark mode. You can easily turn it off and simply turn it on. So before moving forward, let me ask you one question, which is that one part of your iPhone which consumes the most amount of battery? Let me know in the comment section. I'll wait for five seconds. So if you wrote down display, well, my friend, you are right. Your iPhone's display is another big drainer of battery and it is suggested, recommended, that you toggle on auto brightness so that it doesn't consume a lot of battery. Use it as much as required, not anything more, not anything less. And this will save a lot of battery. I can vouch for it. So to turn on auto brightness on your iPhone, again, you need to go into the settings app, scroll down, go into accessibility. And from here, display and text size and just scroll down to the bottom and over here you will have the option of auto brightness make sure you toggle it on if your iphone is running low on your battery i would recommend that you turn on low power mode low power mode is another great way to extend your iphone's battery life when it is running low it will restrict activities in the background for example your iphone wouldn't be able to fetch emails or do app updates to enable low power mode again we need to go into the settings battery and over here, you can see low power mode toggle, just toggle it on and continue. That's it. We have turned on low power mode, but you can also toggle low power mode directly from the control center. Just open it and over here, you will have the option. You can just tap on it to toggle on or off. Another battery tweak you need to turn on is optimized battery charging and this will reduce the wear and tear of your iPhone's battery and will make sure that your iPhone's battery stay healthy, meaning that it will hold much more charge, thus better battery life. So to turn on optimized battery charging, you need to go into the settings app, select battery and over here, battery health and charging, make sure 
to toggle on optimized battery charging. Widgets are another great way to stay updated on your favorite apps with a glance of information. But they do also drain a lot of battery because they need to refresh their data frequently. If you're not using a widget, it's best to remove it. And for example, here I have a widget of Google Maps which gets updated frequently and drains a lot of battery. So simply tap and hold on it and simply select remove widget. That's it. Swiping up on an app from App Switcher doesn't kill it completely. It just suspends it in the background. So if you're not using that particular app, it is best to quit it completely. So to quit an app, swipe on the home bar to bring up the App Switcher. Then swipe on the app preview to close it. So simply just do this. Just like any other electronic devices, iPhones do also get benefit from occasional restart. Restarting your iPhone will help you to clear up memory and some notorious glitch which could be the reason of bad retain on your iPhone. So to restart your iPhone, you need to press volume up button, down button and press and hold power button until you see Apple logo. And just release the button and wait for it to restart. So by following all these tips and tricks, I'm sure that you'll be able to improve your iPhone's battery life and make it run throughout the day, regardless if it is running on iOS 18 or iOS 17, doesn't matter. But what matters is how did you find this video? If it is helpful, then make sure to press the like button and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. And of course, if you are facing any problem regarding iPhone, iPads, Macs, do comment down and I'll be more than happy to solve it for you guys. And while you are down there, make sure to press the subscribe button and bell icon as well so that you get notified on each and every video we post. And meanwhile, you can go to the App Store, download iGeek's blog app and enjoy everything Apple content and amazing wallpapers. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada. See ya. Bye guys.